I think a lot of kids that grow up and want to be like marine biologists were interested in like dolphins and great whites where I always thought that like weird squishy animals were, were more interesting. So I think spiders just always sort of fell into that category. My name is Nick Kaiser. I'm an assistant professor here in biology at the University of Florida and my lab studies behavioral disease ecology. I think that spiders are just inherently fascinating. Like whether someone loves them or absolutely hates them, everyone has sort of an opinion on spiders. They're also super important organisms, right? And they provide all sorts of ecosystem services to people like eating crop pests and eating disease vectors. So if we want to understand the benefits that we gain from having spiders in our agricultural ecosystems, we should understand the enemies that could be killing those spiders. So we're interested in all sorts of things like how an animal's behavior can influence its interaction with parasites, how parasite infections can influence an animal's expression of their behavior, and then how those sort of individual level interactions can scale up to explain patterns in social groups or populations. Spiders can be infected by a lot of the major groups of parasites that infect other hosts, so pathogenic bacteria and viruses, pathogenic fungi, nematodes, and parasitoid wasps and flies can all affect spiders. Parasitic fungi attack their hosts by infectious spores attaching to the host cuticle, where they'll then grow inside the body and reproduce asexually until they have the ability to kill the host, and then Fruiting bodies called cinemata will grow out of the body of that dead spider and produce more spores that then go fall into the environment to infect new hosts. There's so much we don't know as a scientific community regarding the parasites that infect spiders. We're also doing in-lab experimental infections of spiders using field-collected pathogenic fungi so we can not only track their behavior over the course of infection, we can also use uh, sort of modern technology like micro CT scanning to really delve into the sort of tissue by tissue interactions between the parasite, the host, and the plant substrate that we find it on.